Okay, so normally you guys know I use this time to address something or someone relevant who has warranted some sort of ire from the community. However, this week I'm taking a slightly different approach and addressing someone completely irrelevant. I'm speaking, of course, about Megan Kelly. The 50-year-old bully is trying to bulldoze her way back into relevance that only comes to women like her for being a provocateur, not for offering any type of intellectual input. Nevertheless, here we are. Why? Because the blackface connoisseur who had to apologize for ridiculously asking why it was racist for white people to wear blackface for Halloween is now going after someone who's less than half her age but has twice her intelligence. 23-year-old Naomi Osaka, who announced she would not participate in post-match interviews, uh, conferences during the French Open, and ultimately ended up leaving altogether and withdrawing from Wimbledon, citing her own mental health. Now, Kelly accused Osaka of not being genuine after the tennis star beautifully graced the covers of multiple magazines, which were, of course, shot months prior, which Osaka explained in a since-deleted tweet. Now, we reached out to Kelly's attorney for comment, but did not get a response. But when Osaka understandably blocked Kelly on Twitter, this woman said that Naomi just didn't like tough questions. Such insight from the land of the inconsequential. But also, girl, bye. First, shout out to all of you out there prioritizing your mental health, especially when dealing with someone who spews nonsense like this. By the way, for all you kids watching at home, Santa just is white. Yeah. Jesus it was a white man, too. Okay. Second, to all you Karens watching at home, please make a list for your white Santa and pray to your white Jesus for a life. Please. Because we're out here living our best ones, fighting on the front lines to preserve democracy, taking up space at the highest levels of government, making long overdue and necessary changes in newsrooms, winning Emmys while twirling on our haters. We come from a long line of torchbearers, lighting fires that illuminate the world and burn away chains. So it's no coincidence that Snow White and the seven dumb takes she's had recently overwhelmingly target black women. The amazing luminary, Nicole Hannah-Jones, whom Kelly went after over the 1619 Project, the Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle, who Kelly said should stop whining about the treatment of baby Archie. Olympic hammer thrower, Gwen Berry, who Kelly suggested be removed from the Olympics due to her protest. Kelly is really just trying to crawl her way back into social relevance and into the hearts of Fox News viewers by regurgitating their favorite attacks, all while benefiting from the work that we do. We're quite used to it. But when it comes to us, Sister, stop punching above your weight. You keep asking for this smoke that you really don't want. You wanna act like a high school mean girl and you'll get treated that way. Sit down, be humble, while our left stroke keeps going viral. Let the grown women speak. You're not invited to this table. You don't have the range.